Gençliği sırada ilgi kadın sporcunun mücadelesi 60 kilogramda Tarayan Nasser 60 kilograms Kriti ile rounds of kickboxing The way of the fighters will be taken The ring The style işte ring to olacaklar Önce İranlı sporcu Tarayan doğru bu Corner Malfi köşede Representing Iran Maniha Morty Iran versus Turkey in this very highly anticipated women's bout here tonight. A lot of people, including me, think that this fight could steal the show. Two of uh, Turkey and Iran's most talented female athletes going to step into the ring and go toe-to-toe -to -toe right now. Irem Chapar of Turkey comes from Antakya, Turkey, in south central Turkey near the Syrian border. Has been training since she was a kid in various martial arts. She's a three time Muay Thai world champion and a six time Turkish amateur champion, winning medals and belts all the way back into her youth and uh, was an IFMA youth champion as well. Second women's fight of the evening here at KOK Turkey. My name is Daniel Austin here at ringside. Thank you for joining us for this historic moment, the, the debut of KOK in Turkey. And speaking of historic moments, uh, Maliha Mardi in the black shorts with the gray top also making history. She's the first ever professional female fighter from Iran in MMA and kickboxing. And these two are really tearing into each other here to start things here in round number one. Nice shots going in from the Turk as she's just bullied into the corner that time. Maliha Marty pushing her back into the corner. As I said, she also does MMA as well. So no stranger to all different forms of combat sports, nor is Iram Chapar in the black top and the black trunks and the red gloves. 
Oh, but she just got rocked with a right hand that time. And the referee ruling it a slip. Wow, well, there was a heck of a right hand behind that slip, I'll tell you what. Iram Chapar got knocked with a shot right upside her head that time that put her down. And luckily for her, that was not ruled a knockdown. Here comes Marty now, really putting on a lot of pressure here on Chapar. Marty looks to be in absolutely fantastic condition for this matchup. Looks like she's absolutely chiseled out of granite. Look how she's walking so high on her toes inside the ring now. Got caught with that kick though by Chapar and this audience roaring in response. You can hear the chant of Irem, Irem for the fighter in the red gloves going out here, the Turkish fighter. She may have caught an incidental knee on the ground as she came storming in on her. Chapar looked so calm, so relaxed when she was walking to the ring. Not a care in the world when you looked at her face, but you look at her face now and boy, does she look ready for business. And again, look at the way that uh, Marty, Malia Marty is walking around the ring. She's bouncing around very, very high on those toes. I said Maliha Mardi in the gray top, one of the first, the first actually female, professional female fighter from Iran. And Iram Chapar, very, very highly decorated and accomplished athlete inside the squared circle as, a, as an amateur and a professional. So we've got two of this part of the world's, uh, two of the top female athletes here Fantastic matchmaking as usual here at KOK as we take a look at what went down in round number one. Boy, I'll tell you what, Chapar caught a huge, huge right hand at some point during the fight and she went down, it was ruled a slip, but that was by far uh, the biggest moment of the fight up to this point. She almost caught a knee when she was on the ground there as well. So these two ladies getting very physical in round number one. Let's see what round number two brings us. Take a look at this crowd. Look at the anticipation etched on the faces of all these fans here. As I said, there is an absolutely electric atmosphere here tonight in Sharkoy, Turkey. There's about three rows of fans here at ringside, and then there's some bleachers about seven or eight meters behind there. And filled in between those first couple rows and the bleachers is just hundreds, if not thousands of fans who are just standing here at ringside. They've been standing here for hours, and they've been going bananas the whole time. Nice push kick there by Chapar as she comes forward. Non-stop action from her. Marty circles out to her left. Right hand over the top there by the Iranian. Very interesting stance there by Marty, the Iranian. You can tell she's got some kind of a martial arts background. Seen her in, her in MMA action and kickboxing action, Muay Thai. She can really do it all. Same with Chapar. She's got a great amateur background and a lot of experience inside the ring. Kind of hard, actually, for Maliha Mardi to actually get fights. Not a whole lot of women's fighting going on in that part of the world in, in Iran, so... Hard for her to get professional experience, but she does She does come in here with a record of 10 and two. She's 29 years old, whereas Irem Chapar 
only 18. So there is a huge differential as far as age is concerned, 11 years between these two. Chapar with seven total fights. For an 18 year old, that's not so bad. For professional experience, is it? Oh, Marty with a right hand. And again, referee warning about the pushing. She is throwing her all around the ring. Inside a minute now in round number two, Chapar caught her. And there's another right hand. That time the two ladies landing at the exact same time. Again, Chapar has got that cool, calm, focused look in her eyes. I think that's when she really excels. And right now, Marty not really as aggressive as she was in the first round, is she? Action slowing down here in round number two, but Chapar comes over the top with a left. And Marty momentarily losing her balance there. Closing seconds now of round number two. Low kick goes in as they mix it up just before the bell. And that'll do it. Boy, that was one of the longest 10 seconds I think I've ever had in my life. Well, let's go back and take a look at round two action. I think that things got very, very physical in that first round, and both ladies really exerting a lot of energy. And then in round number two, we thought saw things come down to a little bit of a lull, and hopefully these ladies getting their second wind here in round number three. Third and final round here at KLK, Turkey. Maliha Mardi of Iran in the black and gray. The blue gloves. Iram Chapar of Turkey in the red gloves, solid black, red trim. Hard hitting, action packed first round. A Little bit slow of a second round and these two are coming out swinging here in round number three. Chapar, you can see her studying her opponent, looking for an opening. They mix it up, both ladies landing shots to the head and a hard throw there. It's the referee saying, let's get control here, ladies. This is a kickboxing match. Hard body kick that time from Chapar and a shot to the head. Caught her as well. Now Chapar has again changed that expression on her face. She has got those eyebrows down and she is ready to go to work. That cool, calm, relaxed Iram Chapar we saw in round number two is gone. And the aggressive Chapar is back here in round number three as Marty. Perhaps that MMA background again coming into play here as she's making this thing into a very, very physical contest here as we're already halfway through this third and final round. Again, they go hard into the clinch on the ropes. Marty has uh, got a very physical style inside the ring that kind of wears on you over three rounds. But so far, Chapar has shown what great conditioning she has and has not been affected by that. Low kick goes in. Marty catches her with a knee and a kick. Again, Chapar downstairs with a low kick. Inside a minute.
Crowd coming alive here, trying to fire up Irem Chapar. Referee, I think, is starting to get a little bit fed up with Molly Hamardi warning her several times on many different occasions about pushing, about holding. She keeps on pressing her luck. It could be a point deduction. And at this point in the fight, this late in the fight, you don't need something like that. So she better keep it clean from here on out. Getting warned about holding again. That's the second time she told her now. Well, that's about the fourth or fifth time by my count. Closing seconds now. Here comes Chapar. Whoa. Got caught with a shot in midair and down she goes. Is the 10 second hammer. And that'll do it. This one will go to the judges. 60 kilogram women action here at KOK Kickboxing, their debut in Turkey. This one goes the distance. Third round action here. Things started off fast and furious here. That first 15 or 20 seconds or so was very, very hard hitting and action packed. Saw again, a little bit of a lull in the action towards the middle of the round. And then they stepped on the gas towards the end of the round. So both ladies are in center ring right now. And in just a moment, after we get done looking at these highlights, we will get the official word from Mustafa Ozben. We, we,